there is still every reason for me as a woman to make my money. Don't be deceived by the sun. The temperature is currently 4 degrees. But it feels like minus 2 degrees. Hey lovelies, you are welcome back again to my channel. On this day, it was on a Monday, I was going to work. It was super bright, but then it was very cold. On the 16th of March, I didn't go to work and I got busy. I was making this towel for myself, a blazer and a pants. And um, that very day made it one year we moved into the UK. As if that's not enough. It also made it my two years anniversary on YouTube, I mean for my other channel. So in the afternoon of that day, I was coming from school. I went to pick my kids from school. I saw this um, delivery man trying to press on my bell. Then I asked, excuse me, how may I help you? He said, are you Joy? I said, yes. He said, okay, you've got a package. When I checked, it was my name, you know, my address. So I collected it from him. Lo and behold, when I opened it, I saw this inside. Hey creator, we are so excited to have you as part of our YouTube show. Don't worry, I'll read out the rest while unboxing it on my other channel. The next day. This day was on a Friday on the 17th of March. I was coming from work. I decided to stop by at Primark. I made a blazer, remember? And then I needed to buy a camisole to use as the inner. I became so confused on the color of camisole to buy. Just look at the fabric. It doesn't have black. So it had something like lilac, deep yellow, like that. So you know the way we used to do it back then in Lagos when we want to buy something at Balogun Market. We would take a piece of the fabric and you start, you know, taking it around to show to sellers to see if they could get you something similar. So that was exactly what I did on that day. So I got a piece of the fabric and I was, you know, <laughs> placing it on all the camisoles I could see to see if the color matched. It was also an opportunity for me to explore Primark. Remember that video I made on where to shop for your affordable items? I mentioned Primark. I felt like just showing you guys around a little, even though it's not a complete vlog, to see how affordable their things are. Okay, these ones are just £4 each. Anyway, I wasn't going for too much things. I just needed a camis or that's all, and probably maybe a sandal a shoe that will match with the outfit so i was just going around going around looking for white lilac gold or deep yellow Look at me that plan spending at most 30 minutes in Primark. I ended up staying up to like an hour because I was not getting what I wanted. Though, I still got something at the end of the day. But just look at what they have. See these trousers. Four pounds. Four pounds. Everything was just entering my eyes. But I told myself, Joy, you have to be disciplined. So I was just feeding my eyes. Looking is free now. So I was looking... This color too almost looked like what I wanted. I picked it initially, but later I came to drop it. <laughs> it was that day was just like theme. I was just going back and forth, back and forth. Okay, I saw this brown. I said, oh, that one matched with my skin color. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I picked three camisoles. I picked um gold. This kind of is it gold or deep yellow? I picked it. In fact, I picked all the colors that appeared on the fabric. And at the end of the day, let me not say it now. Let's keep watching.
so far everything around here has been less than 10 pounds although this is the ground floor primark is a very big shop so i will still go inside for you to see how it looks they have the underground they have another one directly above this where they sell female shoes baby things you know they've got so many stuffs so this is me still trying to get a camisole for myself although i had picked some into my basket but I was not satisfied. Like I said earlier, I had to return some. Some didn't just go well with me. So I returned some of them. Till I just had to leave picking and picking and picking. And I was just trolling around. Just looking at anything I think I could like. You get? The more people were scattering the things, the more they were fixing it. I really respect those that work there. It's not easy. Imagine fixing every mess any client or customer will have made it's not easy actually so this one too was looking like what i would like but then the color wasn't as dark as what was on the fabric that was how i also left that one i was just walking walking but let me not lie to you guys some clothes were really entering my eyes but it takes discipline to tell yourself no you are not going to buy this especially when you know you can do without it look at this luggage now very attractive you know, these are like luggage sessions for those that want to travel you can visit there these are like newly stocked like all these mini handbags i'm not even, i'm not really a fan of bag actually see this one nine pounds see this silver one how much was this again i think it was like maybe 14 pounds i didn't really take notes see they just brought this because the last time i went i didn't see it these are like for ladies and baby girls maybe hair bows and the rest it was no longer camisole i was looking for at this point i was just feeding my eyes these shirts are like three pounds these are like travel accessories these are like travel accessories If you have the opportunity to visit there just go so i just got into the lift i went upstairs to see if i could get a matching shoe at that point i had already decided i will use white cabiso yes i decided i will use white cabiso but this was the first shoe i saw looking like one of the colors the prominent colors in the fabric but then it was too sharp and then the size was looking very small. I used size 42, but that was like size 40. They were not really having big sizes. Ah, I looked at this one, the heel. I know I would fall. There's no need even looking at it twice. I just left that session. Then this one too were entering my eyes because of uh, the block heel. Again, I was considering getting this yellow one, but the color was looking too sharp. I just left it. At the end of the day, after going back and forth, I later ended up with, um, with, um, you guys should guess. Okay, let me leave you. You will see what I later got for myself. later yeah i later got this for myself white of course white will go with my white camisole the next day this was on the 18th of march that was on a saturday earlier in the week i got a call if i'll be able to grill chicken for the mother's day program i said yes i'll be able to i love cooking i hope you guys know that already so first i rinsed my chicken i added salt i added my seasoning and um, the others when i say the others talking about my mixed spice my ginger my garlic curry thyme heaps of chili chopped onions and anything nice for marinating chicken i 
when I was done, I combined thoroughly with my spatula so that the ingredients would go into the chicken very well. And after doing that, I clean filmed. I also set it aside for some minutes. While waiting for the chicken to marinate, I decided to create this feather lapel pin that would also go with my outfit. Remember, it's more like purple and lilac, so I just created this and I'll be leaving the tutorial on my other channel. Kindly stay tuned. That moment I realized I made this apron some days back and the kitchen cap. I quickly went to wear it, you know, so that I can feel like that kitchen chef and I was feeling cool. By this time, my chicken was already marinated, I decided to place them on the rack. I don't have a baking tray, so I just wrapped up the rack using my foil paper. When I was done placing the chicken on the rack, I decided to garnish a little with the pepper and onions. Then I put it in the oven. I almost left out this part, so that's me spraying the oil on the chicken just to give it a shiny look. Then I began to grill on medium heat. Low heat too will work very fine. A few moments later. next day. I was asked if it was possible to combine being a career mom and a mother. Guys, hear what I have to say. There have been a debate as to whether a mother can be successful at being both mom in a career, as a career woman. What is your stance? Do you genuinely believe one will suffer as a result of the other, or do you believe being a success at both is possible? Praise God. Yes, it could be challenging to be a career mom and a mother or a wife, but that does not mean it's not possible to merge 
being a career mom and a mother. Of course, you need the finance to take care of your home. Just the way taking care of your family is very important. So for you to get the finance, you need to work to get your money. But it is not impossible to be a career mom and a mother. Just trust me, it just depends on how you can perfectly manage your time. Time is the major um, uh, priority here. It's the major thing to talk about when you are trying to merge both being a career mom and a mother. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, dear God. Well, the two are rewarding because I am. Uh, and I don't mind is a devil watch show. I am. I remember my first one year of marriage. I was at home for one year, and before you know it, I was wow. pregnant. And before you know it, so two years it was like I, I entered the wrong back thing. Back then. So I was planning myself that once this baby gets to like six months, I must pass to work. So I remember my first interview, I had to drop my baby with my landlord to just go do my interview. It wasn't easy because my husband alone, I know even though I know he can take care of the home, but there's still every reason for me as a woman to make my money. Because yes, there is pride in enjoying my money and spending on my finding you want to understand. So I had to hit the street to get job. And now, thank God, I am now more versatile. At least most of you will know me here. Yeah. So I'm now a DIYer. So I can match my God. Oh, hallelujah voice. Wow, wow. praise God. So we are coping fine. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, praise God. I know it's So this was how my week went. Mother's Day celebration was a success. After this ministration, we just cut the cake, we then snapped, and we had our refreshments. Thanks so much for watching this time. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do. And don't also forget to turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss out on my amazing videos. Do like, comment, and share this video. See you in my next one. And... Bye!